Hi, my name is Natalia, and today I'll be teaching you how to create a poster in Publisher. When you open up Publisher, you can either pick a blank document or a template that has already been created. We're going to go ahead and pick the blank 8.5 by 11 inch document. I'm going to be making a poster for a school production of Hairspray the Musical. First, to change the background color, I'm going to draw a rectangle. To do this, I'm going to click on Shapes, which is located under the Home tab at the top of our screen. Under Shapes, I'm going to click the Rectangle option from the drop-down menu. Then I'm going to place my crosshairs at the top left corner of the blue dotted rectangle around my page and drag it to the corner uh, diagonally from that. You will notice a blue rectangle pop up. I want my rectangle to be a lighter blue, so we're going to change the color. After the rectangle was drawn, another tab showed up labeled Format. Under this tab is located Shape Fill. We're going to click on that and we can either select a color that is already there or we can create our own by clicking More Fill Colors. From here we can either choose a color using the color grid, wheel, or hexagon to choose a color. I'm just going to choose one of the standard colored, so I'm just going to close out of this and go back to Shape Fill and choose the color blue that I want to use. Now I'm going to insert a picture. To do this, click under your Insert tab. Next, select Pictures. Now you can either pick a picture that you have saved in your files. Once you have chosen the one you want, click Insert. You will see your image show up. You can click anywhere on your image and drag it to move it. To adjust the size, you can click, hold, and drag either one of the corner dots to adjust the size proportionally, or you can click, hold, and drag one of the dots that are located on the sides of the image. This will adjust your picture only in the, the direction that you pull it. I'm just going to leave my image the size that it is, but drag it up to the top of the poster. Next, I'm going to add text on my page. To do this, we're going to click under the Home tab, located at the top of the screen. Next, we're going to click the option labeled Draw Text Box. Now I'm going to go down to my poster, and using the crosshairs, I'm going to click and drag to draw a text box. Now I'm going to go up to the top of the screen where I can adjust the font size, and I'm going to pick 36 from the drop-down menu. I'm going to keep the typeface the same because I believe it is clear to see and will look good on the poster. You can always change yours by selecting a new one from the drop-down menu. Now I'm going to start typing the information I want to be on the poster. You see that the dots around my text box have turned red. This means that if I continue typing, the text will not show within my text box because I will be typing outside of the boundaries. To fix this problem, I'm going to click and highlight the text that I already have written and change the font size to the next size down, which is 28. Now I'm going to finish my typing. Now that I'm done, I would like to change the alignment of my text. To do this, I'm going to click and highlight all of the text. Next, above the alignment section, I'm going to select align top center option. There are other options, but this one works best for my poster. Lastly, I'm going to change the color of my text. To do this, I'm going to click and highlight my text again. Next, above Word Art Styles, I'm going to select the Text Fill option. Again, if you don't like any of the choices they have provided, you can click More Colors and choose a new one from the, drop from the new menu. The Color Grid, Wheel, and Hexagon 
are places where you can select another color. I'm going to close out of this, go back to my text fill, and choose the already provided white option. Also, I'm going to make the text bold, because I want more attention to be called to the information. Now that I am done with my poster, I can go to the top of the screen and click under the File tab. Now I can click Save As and select Browse. Finally, I can name my file Choose the destination where I would like it to be saved, then click Save. Now you can exit out of Publisher because you have successfully created a poster.